So, for those of you who might have seen the first video that I made all about my experience first time back on campus during a pandemic, you might have remembered me mentioning that I have cystic fibrosis. So, a cystic fibrosis isn't a condition that many people know a lot about, or even know exist at all, unless you remember back to your GCSE biology days. Which I definitely don't. I thought I'd make a short YouTube video about five main facts about CF. Number one, CF is not contagious. It's a genetic condition where both parents have to carry the faulty gene. No, not those kind of genes, this kind of gene. Both parents carrying the gene gives a child a one in four chance of being born with cystic fibrosis. Number two, CF mainly affects the lungs and digestive system of somebody with the condition, but it can also affect your bones, liver, and your sinuses. Meaning, if somebody like me gets a cold, it can take a long time for us to get rid of again. Number three. That's four. Number three. Now, in 2019, a little film and its accompanying book called Five Feet Apart were released. Featuring Riverdale star Cole Sprouse, the storyline follows two teenage cystic fibrosis patients in America and features many of the treatments, live experiences, and general rules that many of us with cystic fibrosis experience in day-to-day -day life. Now, these were a really big step forward in the CF community as it was really the first time that the condition had been brought to life by the mainstream media and gave a not too overly romanticised point of view of the condition. Plus, it's also a really good film, so I suggest you watch it. Number four is some of the treatments that can be used to help cystic fibrosis. Now, there are lots and lots of different treatments available for CF, but I can only speak from my personal experience. Many people with CF have to take over 30 tablets a day to help with everything from vitamins, digestion, and lung function as well, and fighting off chest infections and bacteria that we all grow in our lungs. As well as that, we have to complete daily physiotherapy, nebulizers such as this, as well as a extended exercise and dietary routine. As it stands in 2020, there isn't a cure for cystic fibrosis, but they're getting closer and closer every day. Number five. Now, the last one is a big one, and it's cross-infection between patients with cystic fibrosis. During the COVID-19 pandemic, we've all been used to not being able to get closer than two metres apart from friends and family. But for people like me, it's a rule that we have had to stick to for our entire lives. Two people with cystic fibrosis can never meet due to the chance of us passing each other bugs that can damage and cause each other lots of harm and make us really ill. This means spaced out waiting areas, in hospital appointments, designated clinic rooms, and timetables designed to avoid coming into contact with each other as much as possible. This can make the condition incredibly lonely. It's hard to find other people to speak to, get in contact with them, form friendships, and just have someone to chat about your experiences. But thanks to social media, YouTube like this, and the most recent pandemic phenomenon, Zoom, we're able to contact each other more and more, share experiences and get support from people who know exactly what we're going through. You hear many people say that CF is an invisible condition, as to many we look completely normal on the outside, and when we get ill it's usually just oh they've got a cough and they've got a cold, but it's a fight that we go through every single day of our lives. But with new treatments coming up all the time, things are slowly getting better and better, and our life expectancy is going up and up and up. So that's all for today's video and I hope you've learned a lot about cystic fibrosis. Thanks for watching, bye!